good morning my students today i am just going to discuss with you on this one particular aspect in chapter 3 this is about different information types of information systems we all know what is an information system the information system is one where we actually store the data retrieve the data process the data and we use it for future use any system where the data is actually stored in form of database for future retrieval to produce reports or to see the data trend etc to make decisions all these things are called as information system an example is a student information system of the university the student information of the system of the university produces all the stores all the transactions that happens between the student and the system so which can be generated as reports to see how the customers are getting benefited from the system so this is actually about the information system there are mainly five components in the information system which we have already seen like people hardware software process and data now these are the review of the previous things that you know about the information system but we never know that there are different types of information system until now but now now i am going to introduce to you the idea of the different types of information systems the first type of information system that we have got is actually called as transaction processing system the other one is called mis management information system the other one is called decision support system the other one is called executive information system why there are different types of information systems this is the question that now comes to you is it not enough to have only one information system no it is not enough for an organization from the organization point of view these are the four you know the management of the organization is divided into many layers depending upon the people and the nature of the job that they are going to do some people do the operational level job some people do the managerial job and some people do the executive level job where involves very crucial decisions for the organization so depending upon the nature of the job the view of the data or the dimension of the data that they would like to see varies so one information system is not enough to cater to all the variety of the people who are working in the organization now if you look at this one i will just now take an example for you to see this one in a simple way look at this one the who are the workers workers will use this one the transaction processing system who, what is this idea about these people will use the transaction processing system because they are in the operational level of the management they are in the operational level of the management and they will use transaction processing system first try to understand this one then i will try to explain how it works in the coming uh, videos it will be explained in more detail now the next one is what the middle level managers they will use management information system then we have the another set of people who are the senior managers and this senior managers will use decision support systems they will use decision support systems and finally we have one group of people who are the executives and these executives are going to use actually the executive information system so now try to match now maybe in the exam we can give you a match match the following like this workers use what system transaction processing system middle level managers use mis information system management information system the senior managers they use decision support system the executives use executive information systems i hope this is clear for you until now now why the why it is different why do we use different types of information system for different level of people as i already told you everybody have a different job responsibility and nature of the job see for example i don't want to if i am working as a worker i for example imagine i am a teacher in the university i don't want to get all the details about the teachers who are teaching in the cl other classes in the same department i am only concerned about my section as a teacher you okay so i want only the information about my class so that's what actually the idea of using the tps tps is something like it is like i am concerned about my employee as a employee i want to know the, all the information that is related to me only 
So I, my view of data is different. If you look at the middle level managers, like the chair of the department, he wants to know what's happening in his department. So his dimension of the view of the data is not only from one teacher, he takes it from all the teachers in his department. So his view of the data, his dimension of the data that he wants to see is different. If you look at the senior manager, like who is the dean of a college, for example, he wants to see what's happening in the whole college in all the departments. He, so his view of the data is completely different. The top management wants to see how the things are going in all the colleges. So that you see that the data that is stored in the system is the same, but how it is going to be retrieved and presented to the managers and the people who are working in the organization depends largely on the type of the job and the nature of the job in which they are working. So in this case, it becomes very, very necessary to have different levels of uh, different types of organ information system for different levels of organization. I hope it's very clear for you until now. Now let's go to this one. You can see the first one is transaction processing system. You know very well. So again, it's like a recap. The next one is MIS. The third one is DIS. The fourth one is EIS. It is also called as ESS. It is also otherwise called as ESS. There's, there are two names. One is EAS and the other one is ESS. So transaction processing system is used by workers. Management information system is used by middle managers. Decision support system is used by middle managers, uh, senior managers. Executive information system is used by executives. We are going to also have that in executive information system, we have something called business intelligence. This is a very, very common term that is used all over the world now and this is called business intelligence. What is business intelligence? Business intelligence means we are trying to see now we have an information as of today based on the trend of the data. You know what is trend? That how is the data going on for the last six months from, uh, uh, from last six months data, historical data, we can try to analyze the trend and from the trend we can make a forecast how the business will be expected to be after one or two months. So if this is going to happen, how will it affect my company and organization? Will it impact my sustainability? So you can make a lot of decisions using business intelligence. It is a set of tools, techniques, processes which are available, which helps the manager to make a lot of good decisions. So these are the things that I wanted to explain in this particular presentation. So the only idea I gave you today is what about only one idea. What are the types of information system and who are the people using the different types of information system. And I also spoke a little about little about business intelligence. With this, I finish my class for today. See you then. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.